Hi, it's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147, and it's been a while since I've brought you one of these, due to the fact it's been a while since I've opened another one of my Like Forever kits. But um, I'm going to follow on with the same way that I normally do, and this is the January Like Forever kit. There is an unboxing if you do want to see that. It's an older video, but you can find it in the Like Forever playlist for January and these are the bits that we got um, now these I think were an extra little gift because we did wait a little bit for the kit but I'm going to keep them in there and um, what I'm going to do now is do what I uh, I've always done with these kits which is to add a few extra little bits from my stash it's not because I don't want to use the kit bits but it also helps me to use up the an abundance of things that I do have and I try and find bits that will complement the kit so that I'm not forever hunting in my stash but I can just pop this into my kit box and go and have all everything that I'm likely to need to make a layout. So firstly I've been through my alphabets and I have pulled out a couple of others. We have got these gorgeous gold thickers but I did pull in uh, these freckle fawn puffy stickers I have used them before used quite a few but it's sort of a peachy pinky color that does appear in a few of, of these papers and definitely appears in that cardstock so I thought I'd bring those in to use as another option and then I did bring in a little set of alphas so if I do want to combine a title I thought I'd bring in a navy so that I can mix and match those up so that gives me some choices and then I've gone through um, I have pegboards in my craft room which if you've seen my craft room tour you'll be able to see that they all have big packets of embellishments and things on so I thought I'd go through and pick a couple of things that I haven't touched and also pick a couple of bits that I've that need using up that I've not got many left so the first one is these puffy words from freckle form now, they're a bit hard to see. Let me just nick this cardstock. So there we go. Um, in fact, one of them's back to front. But they're little foam words. Hooray, journey, snug, this, fun. And they've got a couple of little arrows and hearts and things on as well. So I thought they'd be fun as a try to use up. And white goes with everything. I then have this pack of puffy heart stickers. These are new. These were picked up from AliExpress for pennies and I thought the colours went really well. Maybe not so much the navy, but the pinks and the pale greens uh, go really well with this collection. So I thought I'd pull those in. Then in the spirit of embracing the gold, because we do have a few gold elements, I have this sheet of label stickers. Well, actually, I have two sheets, uh, but this one has been partly used. I think, again, this was from when I subscribed to the Freckle Form Kits. Absolutely amazing for lots of different embellishments, but there's not a chance I'm going to get through them in a month. So you will find I have quite a few of those. So I've got those stickers. Then I've also pulled in these Moonstruck cork stickers. Now, from Pink Paisley, they did do some of these that were hearts, and oh, my goodness me, I love them and use them like nobody's business. So I did pick up these cork pieces with gold flecks. I found these a bit harder, um, which is probably why they're all still on the sheet, uh, but I'm gonna try and use them with this kit. And then lastly, for full pack embellishments, I've got these Schmel wood buttons. Now, it's an older collection. Uh, I can't remember which collection it was. I think it's possibly little by little. Uh, but I did think that we've got the blues, we've got the pinks, um, we've got a pop of black if we need it. So I thought these colours match quite well. I would see if any of those can make it to the page. And then lastly, what I'm just going to go through very quickly while with yourselves is my embellishment boxes. So I have uh, little iris containers with embellishments according to colour. And these are last bits from kits. So you'll see there's a couple of bits there that I had in the last kit. But these are all set by colour. Um, we've got things from 
the pink paisley say la vie last little die cuts that i had left the number nine things like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull out a few little bits by just quickly flipping through and then i'll feel as though these boxes aren't going to get overgrown so we've even got i've even cut out some little acetate word strips from a feckle fawn sheet now i do tend to keep these together now but at one point i was cutting them all up so i'm going to pull those in we've got some little enamel dots that match we'll have those because again now i don't tend to cut my enamel dot sheets up so they seem to be a bit dark so really what i'm looking for is sort of this paler pink peachy color when i'm looking through here and i'm not bothered what collection they're from whether i know they're going to work with a layout or not i'm really not bothered at this point all i want to do is pull a few different selections out so that i've got some choices and i feel as though i'm using some of my maybe older supplies that would otherwise just get ignored i'm not sure if that color sort of goes Ah, oh, let's have it. So that's all I'm pulling out from the pink box. Not loads, but just a few in the pale colours. Now, I pulled out my yellow box, but not so much for the yellow. What I was going for was the gold. So, I mean, we have an acetate piece again from Say Um It may or may not work, but let's pull in some of these gold acetate pieces because why not we're embracing the gold it may or may not work and while i'm in here i find that i have loads of sequins that i never knew i had i've just recently purchased a load from spiegel mum scraps well a couple of months ago and i'm currently sorting them all out into containers so i'll have to make sure i dig through these boxes for that and then i've also got my green Again, I'm more looking for this paler green when I'm rooting through here. I don't know how much I have in pale green, to be fair. And we've got a little tag. It's probably more creamy than it is pale green, but we may not be that much in luck. Let's have those. I think they were from Kayser, a Kayser collection. I remember rightly and yeah most of the things in there really are more of a dark deep green and then lastly I have pulled in my blue box now I do expect most of this blue as you can see to be a nice bright teal however this box is getting a little bit ridiculous so I do need to see if I can use some stuff up maybe like these darker navy bits I've got no idea if they're going to work on a layout but I'm going to pull them in just in case if I can actually get to see through this box but I have quite a few different navy pieces that may or not work if I embrace the navy in this layout we've also got some that are more of a mid blue oh no they're probably more of a turquoise I don't think they're going to work. Excuse me, sniffing. We do have some navy. Are they navy enough labels? Mm. Blue can be such a hard colour. Maybe let's pull in some of that twine. Because why not? So yeah, most of that box is more teal than it is any of the other types of blues but we've tried so i've got a few bits not loads but we'll see if they get used up then that's all a bonus so that's what i'm going to be using and creating with this kit uh, you'll be able to see it all in more detail as well because i'm about to do the box it up video but thank you for joining me and i'll speak to you all again soon